to 12 by the checker flag. And we go to the 250B Limited. And Wes Kane will be down in just a moment to give us an interview with our top three. Aiden brick Bittler, Jaden Cooper, Gabriel Rios, Mark Gonzalez, Brady Gilmore, Nate Mason, Ryan Friendly, Tommy Rios, Frank Grimaldi, Jacob Glenn, Taylor Allred, Ezra Parker, Adam Smirton, Cullen Park, Patrick Murphy, Charlie Tollison, Chase Kessler, Noah Schering, and Luke Marcellisi. With Kitchens getting the whole shot right there. Levi Kitchens out of Washuga, Washington on the start. It'll be Cole Jones, Clayton Cervati, Gerhard Metamora, Slurry Ford, Evan Hamowitz, Sage Lewis, Austin Capricanitis, your leader Levi Kitchens, and Eddie Noren Jr., Caden Braswell, Josh Romani, Chase Yunser, Roberto Burgos, Tom Lees, Justin Coquinos, Devin Clary, Grant LaFrance, Brock Wagner, and Cesar Maldonado. All right, checking results from that uh, first moto and seeing how uh, our early leader did and Levi Kitchen took the win in the uh, qualifying race in his qualifier out there had a couple of divisions it looks like he took a win in his qualifier that's what I was trying to look at Jeff to see because I remember Levi Kitchen being one of the key players in this and I had to ask myself is he going to be able to make this show and make the grade whenever we head to the main events and obviously is doing just exactly that with Caden Braswell in second Chase Kessler in third Yenzer in fourth and Joshua Malini rounding out the top five yeah, man, you don't come all the way from Washuga, Washington without a plan down here to Florida. And Kitchens now living a dream, working his plan, planning that work, and it's happening right now. Most certainly. He's looking for a spot on that Yamaha podium that uh, Wes Kane is down right now, getting ready to talk to our top three in that 250 Pro Sport class. All right, down here on the box, thanks a lot, Rodney, my third place finisher. I need to talk to... Jarrett Fry, I got a third place medal. You're gonna pop that medal on him for him. Come on up here, Jarrett Fry. Come on, we gotta go, guys. We're gonna stack up here in a minute. Come on up here, Jarrett Fry, finishing third overall. We've got a third place medal for you right there. Congratulations, Jarrett Fry. Come on over here, front and center. Tell us about that last lap charge and make the pass to get on a podium. Uh, yeah, I got off to a pretty crappy start and then uh, got my way through the pack pretty decent and then uh, the leaders were checked out and then uh, was able to get Parker at the end. Tell me about some of the good people helping you out. Oh, yeah, I'd like to thank Star Racing, Yamaha, Thor, Bell, 100%, Hop on Star, Nikon, VP, anyone else I forgot, thanks. Congratulations, guys. Give it up. Jared Fry finishing third overall. Let me have Mason Gonzalez up here. Finishing second. We'll talk to Mason. Congratulations. Got the second overall. You look like you were catching Flock with a few laps to go. Looks like the bike stalled coming in the back. Tell me about it. Yeah, just made a little mistake, but um, it is what it is. I'm feeling really good this week, so I'm um, going to come back even stronger the next moto. Put that Yamaha back out front. Got off to a great start. Done a lot of times hooking up well off the grade. So um, really pumped where we are. And uh, yeah, we'll go and get a next medal. Anybody else you want to thank? Yeah, I want to thank the whole Secretary Rocker, Yamaha team, Bell, 100%, Alpine Stars, Thor, ODI, Dunlop, Donnie Luce, Ed Torrance for giving me this opportunity, everybody at MTF, Brian, uh, Big Brian, Little Brian, Colleen, everybody else. Thank you. Congratulations out there, Mason Gonzalez, second overall. We need our champ up here, Jesse Flock. Come on up here. Jesse Flock. Congratulations out there. Job well done. Number one play, guys. Hold it up. Here's your champ. Won the heat race, won the main. Give it up, Jesse Flock. Tell me how you feel right now, man. You're the champ. I mean, I feel great. Uh, it's been a while since I got one of these, and I'm uh, really happy with it. Who do you want to thank? I want to thank my mom, my dad, my whole family for being here. EBR, Yamaha, the team's great. Answer, Garnet, Arai, uh, Dunlop, those tires were hooking up awesome on that start. Tamer, uh, uh, VP, anybody else, uh, anybody else I forgot, thank you. Congratulations, out guys. Give it up one time, put your hands together. Jesse Flock.
All right, all right. Let's kick it back up to the tower, Rodney. All right, thanks a lot, Wes Came Live from the Yamaha podium here at Gatorback Cycle Park as we pick the action back up, nearing the halfway point of this 10-lap race for the 250B Limited Class. Levi Kitchen opening up with the early lead. Caden Braswell was second, Jace Kessler in third, and that's exactly where we're at. But here's the man of the hour, the man of the day yesterday, Colin Park, who didn't get the best of starts. He's up to a fourth-place position here on lap number four, working on lap number five so the 43 were all eyes were on that one yesterday they may be going back in that direction again once more as we wrap up lap five for kitchen Kate Braswell in that number two spot look at this right on his shadow is Jace Kessler and there is no that is not Colin Park that is the 316 at Chase Jensen so something happened to Colin Park that last time around so he relinquishes that fourth place position and drops all the way back to an eighth place spot after five laps of racing complete little miscue but we'll see if he can pull his uh, pull his weight and make it happen again out there so kitchens up in front again after that great start he'll continue to hammer the yamaha down that front straightaway he's built more than a full straightaway's length of a lead and the real fight now between jace kessler who closes up on the triple two right there of caden braswell just behind him, Yenser with a couple of quick passes, and now Rios will take his turn. There you go. And Tommy Rios, right number 24, Yamaha Mountain Rider, moves in and puts the pass together. That's going to draw him a little bit closer. So that's a good look at your riders up in front. Well, some of the riders not up in front that you might expect to see up there, riders like Justin Coquinos, the number 444. He's back in an 11th place position right now. Yeah, Evan Hamowitz, the 141, back in 15th place position. Eddie Norad rounding out the top 20. Austin Kupacrandis is back with number 17 spot. So we're seeing a big mix up as far as the talent in this uh, 250B limited class. And wow, this Supercross main is not over yet. Six laps down, lap number seven we're working on. It is a 10 lap race that we're racing right now. And uh, with uh, about three and a half for so laps left to go. Kitchen, Braswell, Kessler, Yenser, and Rios. Now your top five. Chase Yenser really making some uh, moves there in the last couple of laps. Put himself in position. He was able to get around Colin Park. Again, Colin Park dropping from fourth to eighth place position. We'll see if he's able to make up some ground on this next lap. As we, whoa, look oh, at the battle. That's a real going battle there. there. Yeah, that Yenser is. now moving it up. The attention of Tommy Rios. Rios, right number 24, continues to wow, carve his way up to by. the front. No, and now again, oh, he oh, and oh, Yenser. Oh. Whoa, and then Rios gets off the track right there, so a tough break for him. Man. He's going to have to climb back aboard to number 24. So a turn of events that's really going to sideline some great progress he was making on the 24 Yamaha. I tell you, that's intense. I mean, he was putting down. He just came up a little short, and it uh, kicked that uh, back end of the bike up and over and flipped him so uh took him out of that uh, contention from uh, fourth place with the answer but wow we certainly saw a great ride coming by tommy rios he's back up and going he's in eighth place now that'll move colin park up to seven luca marcellisi is sixth joshua Mil malini is in the fifth fourth place chase Sensor kessler braswell and kitchen your top three now as we look a little further back Lawrence Fortin is the ninth place position. Pat Murphy, and still no change for Coquinos back in the number 11 spot. And in the gap, and then now Yenser getting a little breathing room. Colin Park on the big charge back right there after a, a little incident that slowed him down. Whoa. But they, you know, worked their way through the yellow flag. So, yeah, I think well, unfortunately, you know, you can't double through those yellow flags right there, so that's going to be costly. I think Bellini might have just made the pass where he should. He doubled through that section, yeah, got by so. Yenser, so I'm sure the AMA is going to take a good, strong look at that. Yellow flags, no jumping, no passing on those yellow flags. Sportsmanship going to be a big, big part maybe of the outcome in this one. So again, well, you could tell he knew that he messed up because he kind of let uh, Yenser go by, and then when Yenser didn't really take it back, uh, he went right back by him. So uh, Chase Yenser is fifth place, but Right now, we kind of expect it to, to change up a little bit, but we're not the referees. We can't make the call, so there's no infractions that have been implemented on anyone yet, so things are the way they are on the racetrack, period. 
Yeah, you're right now. Kenson's got some traffic he's dealing with, but he's got a pretty good lead still over the second place right of Caden Baswell. Up in that third spot, it's Chase Kessler, right number 51. He stayed strong there on the Husqvarna. And our next guy through, Josh, uh, excuse me, Joshua Melty. Melty, right at number 259 there on the uh, KTM has stayed strong up there. Yents are still having to work pretty hard to make his way up in there on the Duke Prep 316 Suzuki ride. And while that's going on, it's going to be Cullen Park. Park's refired now, and right number 43 is closed back up on Chase Yenser. Those guys really carving their way through the pack. So look for this, maybe this last white flag lap for Cullen Park to get a little redemption right here as he and Yenser are mixing it up on the white flag lap. It's the Thor last lap underway, and Park up from eighth to fifth place now as he is all over the rear wheel of the 316 of Yenser. And now he goes by on the outside. Heading through the uh, first turn region now, Colin Park has regained a solid top five in the fourth place position. You have to wonder, no miscues before Wood. He have been contending for the win here. I guess that question will never be answered, at least here in this uh, 250B limited class. We'll have to wait for the answers a little later on the day in other classes. But Kitchen coming around here on this final lap of racing, enjoying a 5.7 second lead over the field. And you know, Rodney, you're right, Levi, with a very impressive ride. Start out there. Levi Kitchen's going to put together an awesome performance here, and he'll be headed down there to talk to West Kane. 250B leading championship coming up. Checker flags out. Levi Kitchens doing an excellent job out there. Braswell will take second, about seven and a half seconds behind Kitchen. And Chase Kessler, who was 3.6 seconds back, will be your final podium position finish. But uh, all eyes on that fourth place position in Colin Park as he solidifies with a 106 lap time. Fastest lap on the last lap there. And a fourth place position. Chase Yenser in fifth. Josh Malini in sixth. Lucas Marcellisi seventh. Tommy Rios is A. Patrick Murphy in ninth, and Gearhart Madam Morris as we take a look at your pro circuit results board there. Uh, you see how it all broke down. And uh, again, you know, when we start talking, you know, fourth place.